How did a jellyfish get in here? So shiny, too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? Izuki? It's me. Boss? Date, seriously. Then, are you... Mom? Idiot. They must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here, looking like that? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? in Southeast Asia that speaks mostly Bengali. That's Bangladesh. I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Please. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? Bored last night, so. Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. Mr. Sajima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. But 20 years ago, So Sejima lived elsewhere. In the Kawasaki district, to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion at the chemical plant. This caused Kabasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just 1 billion yen. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like he got anything out of it. That would be true, but there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land crisis in the Kabasaki region crashed... Oh, we will have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? My name is Akaska from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. 
What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogun Adami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon, before Renju was killed. In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think there's anything to this? I don't know. Oh, Date. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I just found out online. The corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Mizuki saw her own mom. And I just... I just left her. But I didn't know! I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. Yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her, uh, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. What kind of novels are you writing, kid? I don't know anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait, it's no big deal, I just... You better start talking. Okay. Nowhere, just doing my normal routine. I don't know your normal routine. I went to a doujin store to look at the new releases. Then I ate some ramen at Juro's, and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Someone was with him. A man. No. A woman. Um. Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no. It definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. Syringa was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. But 
Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online and... I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. And it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But... Do it for Iris. Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. Awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? I kind of like that. And I kind of like you. Oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. I'm a reptilian. Is that going to be a problem? What's a reptilian? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Oh, too bad. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. But, despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. You're kidding. <laughs> Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., 
You and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket, ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iva, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. With that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris' story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I had a podcast to record this morning, so... If I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom was at home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know? Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. Especially with important people being there. What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Ogira at 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Ogira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. Am I a suspect? It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiora yesterday, but... How do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okira is a fully grown man. Oh, she's got a point. 
A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible. You see. Iris could have choked Renju to death. If you are searching for proof of this, you will not find it here. heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? I don't think so, Date. This is irrelevant to the question of how to lift Renju's body. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. 
Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um... Who are you talking to? Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? W where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? You are trying to prove that the suspect weighed around 105 pounds. Your thinking is correct, but you need better evidence. Iris. On which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Now this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However, Dante, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. Iris, what are you thinking? 
What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris. She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sync with her. Iris is experiencing remsense. Medication is working perfectly. How about it, Date? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. The time limit is six minutes. So before time is up... I know. Then, let's begin. What is this place? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Somnium scan! Activate! CRT TV. this video it is difficult to believe but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer what what is going on here iris what are you hiding we should continue there are more objects to inspect now Still call the torso? What would you call it? Unconscious, the room changed. I'm tired of this. But we have no choice but to investigate.
An old television. video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Let's go. Common gas canister. Uh, it's rusted shut. I cannot open it. If you can't, then... It is meant to be closed? I think so. Only a shelf. That shelf sticking out, it seems odd. There. An You're less than ball. two minutes, Dante. It looks Hurry. quite heavy. Where should I throw it? Throw it that way. Understood. It is unexpectedly light. All right. Uh, yeah! I feel like that ball hit me in the head. Now, a TV and an old book have appeared. I hope this is the last time. You have less than two minutes, Dante. An old-fashioned TV. Victim of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. A common gas canister. Are you okay? Uh, it hurts. I might not be able to stand for a while. Don't give up. I believe in you. I believe that you are more of a sadist than you let on. Dante, you've got less than 30 seconds. 
just a locker.